Alrighty, so let's take a close look at this uh, this tie off here. So all I'm gonna do is just wrap this about three or four times, like so. Make a loop. Once I make that loop, I'm just gonna stick my cordage through it. And let that loop sink in like so I'm just going to use a stick let's 
stick through that loop, tighten that loop up, and there we go. Alrighty, so I went out in the woods, found myself a stick. I got a little Dollar Tree saw. Nice little smooth edge up on top. There we go. This is going to be a great shelter, guys. So it's been raining all morning, all night and all morning. So I got this to lay down. I'm going to go get my uh, sleeping bag, bring it in. All right, it's super roomy in here, really. Uh, I just need to get my sleeping bag out and get it laid out. Set up my straps a little bit. There we go. there we go alrighty so there's my simple little setup my little camp didn't take me hardly any time at all to get set up so we're going to do a little quick run through here so you can check it out alright so again this is a 10 by 20 tarp and there are pieces of it that's just not being used there section of it right there but this is really spacious in there and I'll go in there here in a minute and show it to you. I pushed everything inside just in case it starts raining again because it has been raining all night and early this morning. Okay, right here is the shower rod, curtain rod that I'm using to hold it up. I've got a stick that I got out in the woods right here to hold up the front part. Now I'm in, a, in an, an open glade around the woods right now and uh, I brought along two graphite poles, one over here and one right here with lines extending out. Alright, so let's go inside right now and take a look at it. It's almost, almost big enough for me to actually stand up in here, pretty close to it. So here's the, my wagon that I packed full of gear and I have my ruck right here and then I have my sleeping bag so here we are <sighs> now what do we do so uh, the area that I'm at I'm not supposed to be digging holes and starting fires on the ground so I did bring a uh, homemade cook oven or a cook stove with me as a matter of fact I've got a couple of them 
but I still haven't gathered any wood and it's all kind of wet right now and uh, I'm really not that hungry anyway I did bring uh, a good amount of food with me I got some eggs I got some potatoes uh, what else do I bring with me a couple mushrooms some peppers so I'll make up a nice little omelet potatoes and all um, omelet uh, I did bring just a general bag of food uh, which has everything that I could possibly want and uh, oh yes there's something else I want to show you so I was at my dad's a couple days ago and I was telling him I was uh, getting ready to go out into the woods and spend a few days and he mentioned he has a few items that maybe I want to take with me so uh, out of the items he showed me I did pick one that I wanted to take with me I am not going to use it here because of the restrictions of digging holes in the ground and everything because I really want I, I really want a, a nice size campfire for that so when I get back home I may I may use it at Camp Bravo Yankee but I want to I brought it out here specifically just to show you look at that bad boy yeah this thing is wonderful I brought it out here just specifically to show you guys so uh, Look at that. I love, listen to that. Oh, uh, I love that sound. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if you guys are really interested in seeing all the crap I brought out here. Uh, I have downsized a lot in some respects about what I brought out here. In my large ruck, uh, the only thing I really put in my large ruck was a change of clothes, my sleeping bag, and uh, uh, a couple of flashlights, some cordage. Uh, I did bring my hammock, but I'm probably not going to set it up. Uh, you know, nid, little things like that. My my cart is where I put a lot of the other stuff. I have my fishing kit, my fishing gear with me, my small ruck fishing gear, which is pretty much everything. Uh, I did bring. Uh, what else did I bring? I brought some food, uh, some uh, a couple small hand axes, that little saw, you know, little things like that. Uh, we'll see what I use. We'll see what I don't use. You know, it's not really a big deal. Uh, we'll, we'll just uh, kind of take things as they are. It's really hot and humid out here right now because of the rain has been so bad. It's made everything really hot. I don't know if the mosquitoes are going to get bad today. But, I am prepared. Here's a mosquito net. And, so along with that mosquito net, I've got 20 of these little clips. Got them at the Dollar Tree. Just tore my baggie. Whew, that just tore pretty bad. There we go. So I got these little paper clips here that I'm going to use to attach my my net to the outside of my tarp in front so I can have a little protection from the mosquitoes. I may set that up now or I may wait until you know the mosquitoes get bad I don't know if they will or not I'm sweating horribly I don't know if you can see it but I'm sweating really bad I haven't really done a lot of work it's just it's so humid out here right now so anyway uh, I think I'm just gonna take a rest and uh, when I think of uh, uh, maybe a rest or a nap I'm not quite sure which but uh, when I figure out what I'm gonna do I'll get right back with you guys alrighty so I've decided that I'm gonna be proactive there's a mosquito right there and I'm gonna set this net up before I have to because I know if I get mosquitoes in there it's gonna bother the crap out of me for the rest of the rest of the time I'm out here so I'm gonna go ahead and set this uh, netting up now before I actually have to spend a little extra time in the in the mugginess and set this up 
So this uh, this net, and I've shown it before, but my daughter Shanae got this for me, and this is one of my prized possessions. Look at this. This is just fantastic. What I'm going to do is purl this over the top and pin it down. See here, trying to figure out how to, there we go. There's that. Uh, alrighty, so I have no idea what time it is. I didn't bring a watch out here, and I do not carry phones. But you know what? I don't care what time it is either. <laughs> I have the luxury and the blessings of not really needing to worry about what time it is or what day it is for the most part. Now yes, I have responsibilities not only at home but at the dojo and other places but uh, I'm generally blessed with the ability not to have to care about dates and times. So I am going to take a nap. <laughs>